Hello and welcome to Scotland. My name is Mark and I'd like to share with you some of the experiences that I've had on my journey within quality improvement and patient safety work within community pharmacy over the last three years. I'd like to do that in the form of our top 10 tips. Tip number one. The most successful ideas for change are almost always the simple ones. If we make something difficult or overcomplicate it, we'll struggle to keep the team on board. So number one, keep it simple. Two, harness the enthusiasm of one of your team to lead quality improvement within the pharmacy. This may or may not be a pharmacist, but it'll be someone with leadership qualities and a willingness to support quality improvement activities. Some of the best work that we did within Scotland in our pilot teams was led by technicians and they loved the development opportunity and reveled in the responsibility that we gave them. Tip number three, create a communication process within your team that works. Communication is absolutely key to the safe working of your team. To develop a safe culture, staff need to feel comfortable to raise issues that they see. They need to feel comfortable to challenge, even to challenge the pharmacist. Some ideas that we've used here have been safety doors or safety huddles. Perhaps you've got a wall or a board that you could use or maybe a communication book. The key thing is, find something that works for you where key pieces of information can be passed on to ensure that all your patients have the right environment that they deserve. Number four, we have a mantra here that says, steal shamelessly and pinch proudly. If you see someone else with a good idea, don't worry about pinching it. Take it on board, adapt it to your own circumstances and apply it to your practice. If someone is an exemplar in their field of quality improvement, of course we want to learn from that and we too want to become the best. The same goes in rugby. If I wanted to be a great rugby player, I would want to learn from the best. Tip number five. The model for improvement, including PDSA cycles, Plan, Do, Study, Act, is one of the easiest tools for staff to understand and use. As they see their ideas being put into practice, they develop more confidence and they speak up and contribute more to the team. They have to understand, though, what they're trying to achieve and how the changes they want to make will impact on the processes. So getting them to write things down is absolutely key. Writing things down has always been a challenge within our teams. So good luck with that one. Tip number six. Data or data is king. But we found that pharmacists are really not very good at collecting data or delivering it. So keep data collection really simple and collect it in a format and at a frequency that fits with the working pattern and the limitations of the team. It doesn't need to be an old singing, old dancing spreadsheet full of different formulae. Sometimes a hand-drawn line chart is just as effective and just as eye-catching and delivers the same message. Tip number seven. Share your information with a wider audience. Use social media such as Twitter or maybe even YouTube so that others reading it can give you feedback. Or they may even pinch the ideas and try them for themselves. Number eight, make it fun. Keep it short and sharp and give good data collection deadlines. Don't let the data collection drag on. People lose enthusiasm then. So keep it crisp and the team enthusiasm is maintained. Tip number nine, get together, just as we're doing right now. Share your successes and your challenges Best of all, share patient stories. Stories where your work has really impacted to make a difference. Because stories like that will always resonate well with other staff and they'll help to get everyone to buy in to what you're trying to achieve. Perhaps you could try to get your GP colleagues involved. The more the merrier. When it comes to patient stories, everyone understands the patient 
must come first. And finally, tip number 10. And here's my suggestion. A suggestion box, or maybe a suggestion board. Encourage your team members to contribute by putting something in the box. Come up with good ideas, but ensure that nothing gets discarded until it's been aired across the whole team. Again, this helps to ensure that everyone in the team feels valued and that you develop a climate where the staff are involved and care about what's happening to the safety of the patients and the improvement of the quality of service that they deliver within your pharmacy. I trust that something you've seen today might be of value. Clearly we've been on a journey here in Scotland. I trust that some of the resources that we've developed might, in the true spirit of improvement, be pinched and used elsewhere in the world. So I'd like to wish you well on your journey. And as we say in this part of the world, go on yourself. And thank you for watching.